What inspired us was, was the bird song and also the aesthetics of, the, of having a creek that's restored back to the original grasses and flaxes and other streamside plants that would enhance the bird song that we already had. From start to finish it took us six months or so to clear the area, then a further month or so to get the plants in. And thereafter we um, weeded it intensively for uh, another three years or so and now it's gotten to the stage where it's established and we only have to come in here for a, for a day or two and just make sure there's no other weeds. So the types of plants that we chose, various grasses, carracks, toy uh, toy flaxes and blechnum ferns. Um, we planted kofi, we've planted broadleafs, grislinia and tried to get a decent mix. Well, once we'd finished this planting project we were inspired by the results and wanted to carry on further up the stream to look at hillside erosion planting and also restoration of the riparian zone below. The hill behind us was covered in scrub. It had old man's beard, gorse, Himalayan honeysuckle, um, the works really, and the gully below was also um, covered in scrub and fallen pine trees. We applied for um, funding from Nelson City Council to restore the hillside and we received enough money to um, plant 2,000 plants on the hillside and in the gully. We chose Kanuka because it establishes easily, it grows well and will help control erosion into the gully below. We decided that what we wanted to do was connect our initial planting behind us with the, uh, with the planting on the hillside gully and form a continuous corridor of plants. We planted this whole area with the help of NCC. Um, 850 plants were put in the ground by a bunch of volunteers in half a day. What's next for us is that we've had such great success with planting below, we would like to remove the pines and plant with natives and enjoy greater bird life and diversity. If you are doing a project of this size, I would do it in smaller manageable sections and don't bite off more than you can chew. What I'd say to anyone that's contemplating doing this work, I'd say just do it, don't hold back, there's support out there.